I was told about the shoot back hashtag, and I'm really happy that that exists. But the response in the gay community, let's say in San Francisco, hasn't been that great. And uh, it's kind of the very thing that I talked about in one of my last videos. In what appears to be a call to arms, these posters sprinkled all over West Hollywood yesterday near the Pacific Design Center, on Melrose, and in front of the Abbey. I feel the message itself, shoot back, is not what we want to do, and I feel that immediately conveys a negative emotion. Well, some emotions aren't positive. When the community is attacked, the idea of defending themselves kind of seems like a good idea. But you're like, no, no, that, that's negative emotions. We need to hold hands with the would-be shooters in the future and sing Kumbaya and hold up a sign that has a rainbow on it and maybe paint rainbows on, on all these different things and, and just, you know, spread love. And it'll, it will just magically, you know, change the shooters' minds in the future. It'll just, you know, it'll change everything. That'll help so much. We can say that uh, hate is bad and bad people are bad and, uh, you know, say no to yes. It's a message not being well received in the community. Gallery owner Ron Valdez took several down yesterday. That's not what it is about that. It's not about shooting back. It's about trying to uplift people and making sure that you know they see the right thing and to do the right thing understanding what happened in Orlando but really taking it to heart saying how can we make a difference without shooting back you can't and that's the point people are trying to make in other parts of the city offended residents ripped off flyers they came across I'm offended at the notion that people want to defend themselves it's so hateful Athena Weisenrich says the poster sent a very negative message. As humanity deserves an opportunity to send love and receive love. What kind of love do you think that terrorists will be accepting to receive when their goal is to kill gay people? And those kinds of posters will not bring that to, to fruition. They are now going into a multicultural mode. Let's all join hands with the terrorists and sing Kumbaya. We'll be so happy. I think to fight ignorance with ignorance is a losing proposition. It perpetuates the cycle of violence. Because firearms are ignorant, the desire to protect yourself shows your ignorance. Some say while they don't agree with the message the image conveys, whoever is behind them has the right to put them up. I don't know about you, but to me that's just incredibly depressing.